I'm talking today to uh, Jennifer Frame, who's a master's student here at University of California, Irvine. And she's also uh, a researcher in the laboratory of Hans Kirstad, where she works on spinal cord injury. Mm -hmm. Nice to talk to you, Jen. Thank you. When I first met you, there were three things that I noticed about you. One is your bright fluorescent hair. <laughs> <laughs> And the second you just demonstrated for me, which is you have a great smile. Thank you. Do you think you're a pretty optimistic person? Extremely optimistic, yes. So the third thing that I notice about you is you're sitting here in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And in many ways, people would think you don't have a lot of reasons to smile. <laughs> but you, as you said, you are an optimistic person. Mm -hmm. What happened to you? When I was 15 years old, I was injured in a snow skiing accident. Um, I was doing aerial tricks off of snowboard park jumps and being a little naive 15 year old that I was, um, I didn't think I could get injured. I performed an aerial trick the wrong way and actually landed on my back on a patch of ice and broke my spine at T9 level. You were a 15, 16 year old kid. How tough was that for your parents? Extremely tough for my parents. I'm actually an only child. So for them, it was, it was you know, I'm, they're, they're everything. So they, um, my, my mom took it pretty hard. Did you realize at that age what it really meant to have, you know, damaged your spine in this way? It really didn't hit me until about six months when I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna walk. <laughs> I need to figure this all out. Um, at that point in my life, you know, I was 15 years old. I figured I'm only 15, I can't give up. Uh, I've had my whole life ahead of me. Um, must do something with it. You had dreams and ambitions. How did this injury affect those? Somebody actually came up to me while I was in college and said to me, you know, when do you think you'll walk again? When do you think it's going to happen? And I said, well, you know, when some genius out there figures it out, I'll walk again. And I thought to myself, I'm like, you know, I could probably be that genius. I'm going to go into science. You go to a seminar. Mm -hmm by a scientist from UC Irvine by the name of Hans Kirstad. I found out about Hans Kirstad. Um, he, there was some like flyers posted on the wall. And he was going to give a seminar, a 60-minute talk. Afterwards, I was so blown away by the fact that somebody was actually working on translational work. They were actually working on the, the thing that was you know, keeping me seated. You went up to him afterwards and asked him two questions. I asked him a scientific question about what he was doing. He explained to me and gave me a, a couple of papers to read and things like that. And, um, and then, I, then he said, OK, well, what's your, what's your next question? And I said, oh, well, when can I come join your lab? Because <laughs> I want to work for you. You enjoy the work you do, I think. Mm -hmm. Extremely. My project is mainly to work on um, chronic injury in that we want to draw out any kind of uh, axons or any kind of cell type that we put into the spinal cord. We want to make sure that it reconnects with the muscle that is not functioning and make it function again. So you're trying to get a motor neuron mm -hmm. um, to grow, in some cases, probably several feet. Yes. To um, the muscle to re, re it and re-stimulate the muscle. Right. The work you're doing, I think you're passionate about and you feel there's a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a field too that comes with controversy mm -hmm. and the cells that we work with, embryonic stem cells, are derived from an early embryo mm -hmm. that in the process of making them is destroyed. Mm -hmm. But people maybe don't understand that in most cases those embryos are going to be destroyed anyway. Right. Have you been confronted by people that kind of question why you're doing this work? And how do you, you know, address those questions? Well, it's interesting because my, my aunt and my uncle are actually two of those people who have addressed me about that. They, they don't believe in embryonic stem cell research. They think it's, you know, it's immoral. And I tell them, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm recycling. I'm taking the stuff that's, at, that's already in the trash, they're already throwing away and using it for the better good of everybody. Jennifer, you are a fighter too, I think. Extreme fighter. Tell us about what you think your hopes are for the stem cell field. What will come out of this research? So I do believe that, you know, within my lifetime, I will be able to walk again. Um, I do think that a lot of people will be um, either treated with stem cells and alleviate some of their disease, and maybe not cure it completely, but um, I do think that it will create a huge impact on our society. Thank you very much. Jen. Thank you.